Four shootings in just a matter of hours. The first two in Norfolk. At 1030 last night, police found 48-year-old Tridorel Reap shot to death on Woodview Avenue. Minutes later, police went to Berkeley Avenue where two people got shot. 22-year-old Javion Brittenham died and a woman is expected to survive. Then just before midnight in Newport News, 27-year-old Daquan Major was killed on Aqueduct Drive. Later at 1.50 a.m., gunfire in Chesapeake. Police say two people shot a 17-year-old a number of times on Drake Circle. We have team coverage of the violence ahead of a meeting between the mayors of the seven cities. We begin with Allison Basil tonight, who's live in Chesapeake. Allison. Yellow crime tape is rolling out far too often. When I get the email from HPD that talks about incident summary, it's a shooting, a homicide, it just, it rips at me. And flying bullets are crossing city limits. Because crime does not stop at any of our borders. The violent spike is raising red flags for mayors in all seven cities. Yeah, it's very disturbing. And it's not just Hampton Roads. I think it's throughout the country. Next week, city leaders are coming together for a second meeting. Mayor Tuck says they will focus on ways to prevent young adults from getting mixed in crime while getting help from coaches with Cities United. We did pair meetings with the mayors and we allow them really to do a deep dive into some of the things that were going on in their cities. The national organization's mission is to help mayors lower murders and shootings among black men and boys. Uh, what, what we want to do is to show the public that we're being proactive as well as focusing on some proven strategies that we believe will work. Chesapeake Mayor Rick West doesn't have an answer for the increase in crime, but hopes to get more people back to work and hire additional officers. I'm not sure that anybody knows, but if it's idle hands, then we need to get people busy. Virginia Beach Mayor Bobby Dyer believes the mayor's partnership will bring about faster solutions. So if we start dealing with it as a collective in the way that we've been, uh, we can come up with solutions and strategies to try to, uh, to get into uh, mitigate it. And we also heard from Suffolk Mayor Mike Duman. He believes moving forward, they must continue to promote and reinforce mutual respect between citizens and law enforcement personnel. In Chesapeake, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. Hampton Mayor Donnie Tuck will host Monday's forum on the uptick in violence. The mayors of Newport News, Chesapeake, Portsmouth, Norfolk, and Virginia Beach will attend. The mayor of Suffolk can't make it. To participate, head to the city of Hampton's Facebook page Monday at 7 o'clock.